Hello friends, my name is Justice. In this presentation, I'll be taking you back to elementary biology. But what is it about? It is the presentation of my Harvard University CS50 Artificial Intelligence Heredity Algorithm. And in this project, I've been tasked to build an AI application that is able to assess the likelihood that a person will have a particular genetic trait. So in this project, I'll use this model to make inferences about a population. So given information about people, who their parents are, and whether they have a particular observable trait, such as hearing loss caused by a given gene, our AI should be able to infer the probability distribution for each person's genes, as well as the probability distribution for whether any person will exhibit the trait in question. All right, in order to implement this program, we have three CSV files, family one, family zero, and family two. And we also have the heredity Python file. So in this heredity Python file, we have a lot of functions, but the first function I want to talk about is this joint probability function, which is responsible for computing the joint probabilities. And then we also have the update function whose sole purpose in life is to add the newly computed joint probability to the existing probability distribution and finally we have this normalized function which is responsible for ensuring that all probability distributions sum to one all right so that is what we have and then i'll go ahead and run this heredity file on the first a file which is family zero all right so this this is the output and from this output we can see that this family has three members harry james and lily and we can see the different probabilities that are attached to different copies of the gene that each person has so what this means is that uh, the probability that harry has two copies of the gene is 0 0.0092 and the probability that he has a copy of gene is this and the probability that he has no copy of the gene is 0 0.5 three five one the same is applicable to the trait the probability that he has this trait is 0 0.2665 while the probability that he does not possess the trait is 0 0.7335 so and that is also applicable to other family members if we go ahead and run this on the second file which is family one we will have this result it's loading all right we'll have this result which is also similar to what we have for the first family and we can run this for the third family which is family two all right we also have this and what we can also note from here is that the sum of each of these probabilities for the gene random variable for example we give us one and the sum of the probabilities for the trait random variable will also give us one so that is what we have and that is how this program works thank you so much for watching and please like this video and subscribe to my channel thank you